very much. Um, if I could invite um, Ken Calling and Judith Miller for the Christchurch 360 Trail. Um, and I understand you've got some other colleagues there. I don't know whether they're going to come to the table or... No, just, no. No, in support. Right. Please, welcome. Thank you. Th uh, thank you for the opportunity to present to the Council. I'll, I'll give an overview, followed by Judith Miller to my left. She's the Christchurch 360 Trail Acting Chairperson. Judith will focus on the Estuary Edge project. The 140 kilometre Christchurch 360 Trail was launched four years ago as a connected experience of Christchurch's diverse landscapes, habitats, biodiversity and history. We're grateful that Council provided some initial funding and also latterly a great staff champion in the form of Rodney Chambers. Long term plan, 2018 to 28. Our committee provided a comprehensive submission on the draft long-term plan last year. The council response was that, and I quote, staff will continue to work with the Christchurch 360 trail group and provide support through existing operating expenditure to assist with the likes of signage and fencing and provide one point of contact within the regional parks team, end of quote. We've also engaged with Ryan Rolston from Traffic Operations over pedestrian safety issues near the airport, which are proving more intractable. Draft Annual Plan 2019-20. The Estuary Edge project is identified in the Draft Annual Plan with a budget of 51,000 for 2019-20 and 52,000 for 2020-21. The committee consider projected completion of this project to be an urgent priority. If the extra budget is for additional planting, then it is supported by the committee. However, we want council to get on with construction now rather than spread existing budget forward. Judith will speak more uh, on this topic. Route finalisation and access completion. Significant progress with route finalisation and access completion will have been made by, uh, by the end of this financial year. The water race relocation on council land around the Fulton Hogan quarry site at McQueen's Island will provide a suitable route for the trail that avoids McLean's Island Road. Consultants prepared a draft road safety audit for the Avonhead Garden sector behind the airport in October 2018. Our committee is working through the pedestrian safety issues identified in order to reduce risk. To assist, we ask Council to set up a project that will be added to the annual plan to mitigate or solve these issues. A good starting point would be a pedestrian crossing near Ryan's Road on the trail and Pound Road. There is no provision for pedestrians within a road length of four to five kilometres at this point. City branding and support from Christchurch NZ. The potential of the trail as a local, national and international tourist asset is just in its infancy. Promotion of the trail appears compatible with Christchurch NZ's role to promote the city. We ask that the trail be included in the council lists of, uh, of assets, in brochures on walking, etc and be integrated into Christchurch NZ's promotion of the city. Conclusions. One, the Christchurch 360 Trail Committee thank the City Council for their ongoing support for the trail. Two, the committee ask Council to instruct Christchurch NZ to integrate the trail into their promotion of the city. Three, the committee asks Council to complete the Estuary Edge project as a matter of priority. Four, the committee asks Council in con conjunction with NZTA 
to provide any necessary signage on roads where warnings to or about traffic hazards are identified. Five, the committee asked council to establish and budget for the Avonhead Garden Sector Safety Project to expedite the installation of pedestrian safety measures along the Christchurch 360 trail route. Thank you. Um, I'm Judith Miller. <clears throat> um, I'm going to focus on the, the particular part of the trail, uh, the estuary Green Edge Pathway. I've prepared a few slides for you just to show you the timeline that has been followed in the development of this part of the trail. So the first slide is just showing you the general area of the part of the trail where the estuary edge um, is. It's going obviously around the edge of the estuary. This slide, or this um, map here, was prepared in November 2016 as an indicative route of where the trail could go. Um, it's showing pathway, it's showing where there could be viewing platforms, and it's showing that it would the, the trail can go along an already existing pathway. No pathway has to be developed. There's already a pathway there. So November 6, 2016, um, you would have thought that quite a lot of work had gone into it to get it to this point, and we were thrilled when we saw this particular map. So now I want to... Have I gone to the next one? Yeah. Um, so in August... 2017, the council reported to us, um, post one of these meetings, that, um, a re that for approximately $416,000 in capital expenditure had been budgeted uh, to enable the Estuary Edge Trail, part of the trail, to be completed by 2017-18. So we were really height heartened by this. We were going to have this particular sticking point completed by last year. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, 2017. Uh, then in November 2017, we got a project update and that the council had resolved to build a walkway, um, that fencing was required along the route, that the route had been surveyed, and that the council had been liaising with Runanga. So again, work appeared to be progressing. In uh, no November 2018, now there's a whole year has gone by and not a lot's happened and we haven't heard much at all, but on inquiry we discovered that work was progressing on the design and while a staff member was away, data was put into CAD, that work was progressing on the consenting, the route had been surveyed, there was stakeholder engagement and we would be kept informed. So this is a whole year down the track. By now, of course, we're expecting it to have been completed. And then this year we discovered um, that in the draft annual plan budget that um, two further sums had been identified. I'm not sure whether they were part of the 416000 or whether it was additional money. I'm not sure about that at all. But we were heartened by the fact that there was money there. But there was a difference if it's, if it's being deducted from the 4016 um, We've already spent quite a lot. And then this is what happened. This year, we were, dis we were advised that there was a change of project manager. That's fine, staff change. We were dis uh, advised on the 29th of April that the project is still with its, within its investigative phase and that the first phase will be to produce a concept plan. <laughs> How does that work? Tell me that. We're nearly four years down the track, and we are told that with the first phase will be to produce a concept plan. So when we got that information, can you imagine how we felt? We've worked so hard on this. There we are. That's us there. Bit brassed off. Bit brassed off, I don't mind saying. So yesterday, I prepared a speech, not glowing in its praise for the glaring rack of lack of progress, which has been made particularly on the Estuary Edge project. But I abandoned that because I believe that you as councillors must appreciate how disillusioned our committee feels. While we appreciate that it is that 
what we appreciate is that with an original budget of approximately 416,000, we actually represent a low priority in the overall scheme of council works. But it is precisely that low priority, according to this project, that we don't understand. The council endorsed the concept of the trail some four years ago now. Maybe it regrets that. What we had hoped was that the council would embrace the project and proactively push to get the circuit completed. Walking and cycling has never been more popular. The time is right. We acknowledge the time and effort, as Ken has said, that has gone in so far. But quite frankly, for us to be coming back here again this year, asking for almost exactly the same as what we asked for last year, for us, endorses the lack of interest and commitment on behalf of the Council to help us all to achieve the goal. A 360 trail that can be marketed effectively, including by Christchurch New Zealand, as a great walk. The Council might even want to rebrand it, Christchurch Camino. I'm glad Colin isn't here to hear me say that. We really believed that the S3 Green Edge pathway would happen last year. Whatever it takes to manage the project, we look to the Council for action, for commitment, and to direct responsibility for making it happen. That concludes my report. Thank you. I mean, that, that um, uses up the 10 minutes, which is uh, kind of devastating in light of what you've just said. Um, your submission didn't say any of that, so that is, I think, news to everyone sitting around the table. Um, so it's, it's we something... Didn't know, we didn't know at the time. No, no, yes. I, I'm sure you didn't know at the time when the submission was written, yes. because you couldn't have known. You only just found out. Um, when, when was it? A couple of weeks ago. But, but even, if, even if a couple of weeks ago we could have known about it, we could have asked management to um, provide some advice. But we will do that and follow up on it. I'm sorry, but there is no time. Just whether the, the issue should go to the Infrastructure, Transport and Environment yeah. Committee for a report. No. Well, well I think there's, you need I, to find out about what you have, because it may not be... That, I, think, I, think, I think the... the yeah, I think what, what, what we need to do is to make sure, and I'm, I'm sure that the Chief Executive won't mind me saying this, but um, is that you need a single point of contact that you can have a reliable relationship with within the Council. But we, um, on but September we do. the 11th last year in a meeting with Colin and staff members upstairs, so he has that point of contact. Yes, we have a point of contact. We're not saying we haven't. What we're saying was we want some action. Yeah, well, we agree. Yeah, I know, but uh, I mean, well, but, but we need some sort of oversight because yes. this is the first that we're hearing of it. We need a I report mean, because we've got conflicting information coming from the staff themselves with the funding and yeah. the staff member. And anyway, so look, I'm 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 very sorry. I don't I don't know that the that, that the circumstances or the detail of the information that you've provided. So I'm sorry about that. I don't know um, what has occurred. Uh, and uh, we will we will discuss this with the chief executive, and uh, we will see whether we can find um, some sort of early resolution to it for you. Or an understanding of what's actually happened. Yeah, yeah. Thank right. you. Thank okay. you. Thank you.